S a sacrifice. A bishop is sacrificed for the king. I imagine a bishop there being nines. It has to be nines. <gasps> who knows that? Well, it wasn't nines who sent that email, that's for sure. So it's that friend is not nines. Everything seems quite normal. Heard anything? Oh, you haven't. Okay, I'll. I, I de definitely didn't didn't do that. You measly fuck! You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. E what? what? E easy, Skelter. Skittles. You fingered nines. Said he killed a goddamn primitive. I just saw him there. At least I think I did. I'm willing to believe you are a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you here. Where did nines go? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. That's a good point. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jack. Listen, kid. You did what you had to do. Just a messenger, right? Yeah, just a messenger. Yeah, Skelter didn't take it so lightly. Don't worry about Skelter. He's like all these big parking puffs nowadays. They don't fight unless they get cooler. Where's Nines now? I hear Nines got word. I'd wager he's gonna be laying low for a while. Why? The Anarchs will stand up for him, right? Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jack. What can I do to help? <laughs> you just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? I can do that. Not actually sure what he says. I could give a goddamn because uh, he might actually be saying what he means to say, but you people say that they could give a damn when they couldn't give a damn. If that makes sense. So I don't know. I don't know. He's a pirate. He doesn't know books. <sighs> anyway, let's go to the um, the hotel. Not hotel. The the big the the this. We're going to the museum. See. I, I remembered the name of the thing, and we're we're going topside, which is really interesting, because that's not how every other clan gets in. Every other clan gets in through the front. There's a dinosaur. Definitely not meant to scare us or anything. Let's get our obfuscate ready, and let's look around. Hmm. This door is locked. This door is not. Aha. Uh -huh. And also we have a camera somewhere. So here in the museum... What the heck? I don't even know what to say. Here in the museum there is an artifact. And it's a long level. Oh, and we made it all the way around to the dinosaur. This is good. Because the key we got is actually important. It might have been... Oh. Damn funny. You scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now, would you put the damn raptor back in its exhibit? Oh, and don't leave the keys lying around or Marshall will fire your ass. Well, I guess we have the keys, though. So let's go there. Okay, here's the door. I wonder if it opens. I doubt it. It does not. This one does, though. And that's where we're going. We also have exhibits! Because this is the Museum of Natural History. The Flamingo. Whatever that is. The Velociraptor. That was never a thing, by the way, I'm pretty sure. I think the Velociraptor wasn't a reality. Like, it, it's not... It, it was a bad archaeology result. Or is that the brontosaurs? I, I don't know. It, there's something. There's an octopus and a goat. I don't know where this guy's going. And a platypus. Platypus or something. Chickens. We got chickens. We have a zebra. We have a door. 
That's where we got in. Is it? It is. Okay, let's go downstairs. In fact, we can just jump down through here. Ancient insects. And you can see the thing from Jurassic Park. Which is very was very en vogue at the time of this game. Oh, that's a bad thing that I got myself into. I have obfuscate. And there's a dinosaur over there. Okay, don't die. That's good. I'm the best vampire. I am Vlad the Nosferatu. <laughs> okay. So, not killing anybody. Very important. Door doesn't open. And here is an elephant. With an elephant butt. There's more doors over here, though. So, we're good. Very pretty place. The lighting does a very good job in just perking it up a little bit. And now we have a proper door. People peeing. He doesn't pay attention to anything. The peeing must continue or go on. There's a song about that. I don't know where I'm going. Well, I mean, I know where I'm going. I just, we have no reason to know where we're going at the moment. I should spit on him or something. <laughs> just be like, wait, what the heck am I? What? Or not peeing, or not spit on him, spit on his pee or something. Okay, so this uh, takes us back to where we were. No, it does not. Does it? I don't think it does. There's a, there's somebody down there. I'll just open these to know where I'm at. They don't notice it because they're very bad guards. Okay. Oh, this is a different room. Yes. They got the best computers. Look at that computer. It's got a DVD drive. That's a DVD drive. <gasps> I have a D they also have a floppy disk drive, which is atrocious. Okay, so that's that guy over there. The museum basement keys. We sort of need that. You didn't see nothing. I think we're good. stapler for reasons bunch of motorbikes with cones oh we're safe over here good 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 and also we can see oh I was gonna say we can see outside this is not outside this is the entrance it's like the ticket booth what do we have over here email no that's not how you hack I'm very good at the hacking it goes for in il, what the heck I love Gabe oh yeah because of valve this game is done with the Half-Life 2 engine, or almost. It's, they they shouldn't love Gabe. Gabe sort of destroyed this game a little bit. Reminder, just a reminder, Dr. Anders Johansson, the one that we read about in the uh, hotel, uh, aka the sarcophagus guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. Show him the professional courtesy we show all our guests. That statue of Daryl's workstation or on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night and I swear I thought I, I saw it move. This isn't another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny from Pam. Hmm, a statue in Daryl's workstation. I wonder if that is the thing we're looking for. The MAV has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantine quarantined and a notice sent to adcxu at mail.net. Those keys you found, they're Larry's. I'll tell him not. Uh, I'll tell him you left them in the lost and found. Well, there it is. And also we have sales. A password is required. That would be for Griff. I don't know what it means. Sales figures are unavailable at this time. I don't know what that means either. No. Oh, Q doesn't. Q sometimes works. I swear I've seen Q work. Either way, everything is good. We got in through there, we came out through there. We are at the ticket place. It says closed on both fronts, which is really interesting. That's how the museum key of office key works. 
into the offices. This is the way forward. And this mission gets really tricky. Really hard as well. Not just tricky. And uh, let's see things from above. Because we have the computer beef. Dark. Dork. Yen found them buried in the sofa downstairs and turned them into the lost and found. Stop leaving your damn keys all over the place or, or else next time I'm demanding a finder see from JJ. Hmm. Not really sure what that's all about, those keys. But I might have found them already. I imagine I have because I've been everywhere. Ooh. We have some prescription bottles for Vlad. No, oh, that's the keys for this. That's the last little... So there's two hints, and that's the last hint. If you haven't taken the hint, uh, then then that's the last one that you have to. Go into the lost and found. Oh, we also have liquid demon over here. Fantastic. I do enjoy a good bit of liquid demon. And we have cameras. Next. Which do make this quite the tricky se sequence. So there's a guard in here. But I'm very good at the at the moving. Seriously? Hmm. Said I'm very good at the moving. Not so much at the avoiding the cameras, as it turns out. Which isn't even that hard. You just need to look at what they're doing. can go under them. Okay. That's one way of doing this. Cameras one. Pterodactyl. Yep. Uh, disable. Cameras two. Velociraptor. There we go. Disable. Excuse me. They're right behind me. Home. Quit. Fortunately, he's very bad at this. We got another thing over here. Sobchak's Guide to Personal and Home Security. I'm so glad he sucks. No, it's not that he... I'm being unfair. I'm just very good at sneaking. I am Vlad de Nosferatu, after all. Let's see what we have. I need a research skill. Okay. I believe nothing bad happens because of the alarm going off. Let's see what we have in here. Nope. We don't have another computer. We do not. No, but we do have... Oh, no, we have gold ring. Normal watch. Fatsu. Fatsu, watch. I don't know. Anyway, Marshall changed the code again. He's on such a power trip. I think you're right. He managed to send it to everyone but you. Again, not that you ever check your mail anyway. The code's 2358. You owe me lunch. Okay. Then we need to stand up on top of the thing to read that. <laughs> okay, that camera should be disabled. However, there's a thing that smokes over there. And also there's this. Two, eight, nope. Two, three, five, eight. And this goes to places. This is the way forward, actually. So there's guards all over the place. I assume they thought, they think it must have been the wind that triggered the alarm. We have another computer over here with more email. Uh, sorry, I, I press enter again and it, uh, it gets out of here, which is weird, but. I hate my job. Okay. From a reply to Johansson. Okay. That's interesting. From Marshall. FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. I think he'd prefer not to be pestered by the junior staff. Of course, if you have a question, I'll try to ask him it for you. Ask him it. Ask him it. Absolutely. So that's just that's how you talk. Relax, Pam. I had him move the statue into another office. Oh, and he told me to say hi. The statue did. In keeping with good security practices, we have changed the code for Area B2 
to 2358 effective immediately. I encourage all of you to change your email passwords as well if you haven't done so in the last three months. That is terrible security. Well, it's actually, it's not terrible security, it's just, it's bad. That's not how security works. And we have the museum workshop workroom key, which is actually quite important because otherwise you would need to break break windows, which you can do. You can break window break windows. Let's follow this path over here. Oh no! That door is not a door. This is a lie. Excuse me, Mr. Guard. You definitely don't see me. Yeah, you can't get in there without breaking that. That's bad news. I need to pick something up instead of attacking it. Okay, so how am I going to get past this? I can't very well shoot the window, even though that would definitely work. Don't ask questions. It's complicated. It, it's, it's really complicated. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this game is brilliant. Uh, so this is a place that we actually need to go to, I think. Is it not? It is. That's the statue. And it doesn't shine because my inspection skill sucks. That's basically the reason. And I got that experience. Now this statue is really interesting. A fetish statue. You can tell just from holding it that there is something definitely odd and supernatural within it. Uh, it's the statue that was looking, or that was, uh, saying Thank things. You, it wasn't, but they, well, maybe it was, actually. It was moving, rather. That's the, that's what I mean to say. Let's see if we can not get spotted. Fantastic. I'm so good. This stealth in this game, it makes for the best videos. It just makes for the best, best videos. So, yeah. Playing it, totally normal. You... It's not weird, especially if you're playing it in first person. It's not super weird. It's just weird a little bit. Um, but for camera, it's just some things just happen, and it's just how it is. Uh-huh. We have another place that I could smash with my axe and just get get through. In fact, that might actually be what I'm about to do, because this, this place is quite something. Um, this is a jumping puzzle. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to try to do it. It's also very easy to alert the guards on the other side. Yeah, I, d I, d I don't know. I don't know anything. I, I don't know anything. Excuse me, sir. I could use obfuscate. Huh? Huh? Huh, he didn't see me. He did not see me. Okay. Good, 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 good. I think there's other guards going up over there or something. What do we have over here? Beams. I can hack those beams. Oh, that's the way you can... I think, yeah. Basically, if you don't want... That's super unintuitive. If you don't want to alert the guards by having the beams... Actually, you can hypothetically jump around without sneaking, because sneaking slows you down. But if you don't sneak, you can jump around and, and do the thing, by so that way you don't alert the guards. Otherwise, if you don't want to alert the guards, you need to break the window that's right in front of them with your melee weapon, because if it's with your ranged weapon, it makes noise, because that's how it works. And then you need to go through the window, disable the thing. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, why not? Uh, like, of course. Also, you can break the box, I'm told. You can break the box on the wall to disable the thing. I never knew that. Or maybe if I learned that... Um, alarm siren disabled. That's pretty good. Maybe if I learned that, it was by mistake when I was fighting people without weapons and whatnot. And that thing just blew up or something. So, yeah. Anyway, we deserve to uh, disable the alarm. Huh? Don't you dare see me. That's actually a good place to I be. Lost him. Did you? Okay, this is dangerous. Huh? He did not see me. 
Can I go through? I can't go through. What have I missed? Oh, let's try and break this just to see. Combat music starts, but it's a lie. Oh no, he saw me. Well. Oh. Excuse me. I. Yes, I'm. I'm very good at this. Hey. Hey. Stop hey. Right hey. Oh, this is not the way. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have a what? Oh no, you don't do that. Okay. So, this is how the mission goes for the vast majority of people. Is just being shot by the cops uh, for a while. You can also drink their blood a little bit every once in a while. But the stealth action is done. Sorry. Uh, mostly because I have no idea where the heck the entrance to that is. So the way murder works... Is like this. He doesn't have a key. No murder. <laughs> we don't want a bloodshed. We don't want bloodshed in this mission. Okay, let's go Banzai here. That's the key. Museum storage key. Where the heck is that? <sighs> anyway, we did it. We beat it. We beat it. We got the statue. We got everything. We're gonna get the two extra points of experience for for doing this undetected. We broke all the windows, knowing that it doesn't matter because it's the thing that makes the most noise. They can hear it all over the place. But we got it. The more important thing is, though, we had fun the first time around. The one that didn't work. Okay, so we're back. And now these guys are just having a chat and being like, Who the heck broke this window? Huh? Must have been the wind. And yeah, they're, they're very good at this. They're very good at this. <sighs> I'm also very good at this. I promise. So this is the workroom. Where they keep the work boxes. Also, no guards over here. I don't think there's anything back here. It's very dark. There's nothing for us. Oh. Museum. Oh. Okay. Is that the... Ar that's not the sarcophagus. That's just a table. I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Beckett? What are you doing here? I could just keep finding people in the places of crimes. Well, you know, things that I go against what I want. That's what crimes are, anyway. I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. An antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Kindred more so than kind, I would say. And the Gehenna? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Cain. Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch, a place where kindred and kind coexisted. 
I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Hmm. It's sort of interesting because that interpretation is not... Uh, that interpretation of just general mytho mythos is not necessarily uh, modern. <laughs> modern archaeology doesn't see things in such black and white stuff. Um, Cain being a figure concocted specifically to personify a transition from nomadic society to a grandian society would first impl imply that that transition is notable or noticeable to any one society uh, and it would also necessitate that uh, that transition is actually a transition, uh, which is, well, it's very complicated because uh, agriculture actually exists before uh, a full sedentarian, a full sedentarian, full sedentarism. That's what I want to say. In some societies, I'm not sure if in the Fertile Crescent, that actually is the case, because Fertile Crescent is where a lot of these mythologies come from. Um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure, actually, in, in fact, in specific regarding the the Fertile uh, Crescent, I don't know that that is the case. I think they, as soon as they got uh, got their agriculture going, they were fully uh, non-nomadic. Let's just go with that, because I can't pronounce the other word. Um, and um, But the other thing is that it's a figure concocted to personify, uh, where usually it's the other way around, an inspiration on our day-to-day -day lives, uh, or rather the inspiration of our day-to-day -day lives allows us to create figures that reflect our principles. Uh, and to very distant societies, such as our society is distant to these 6,000, 8,000 year old societies, or however much actually Cain is a lot short, a lot, uh, about 3,000, 4,000. Um, but because we're so separated culturally, for us it's very easy to see the parallelisms. Um, it's almost as if, like, using our, is using this sort of attitude towards archaeology um, would definitely get people in 4,000 years from now to look back at us and just see Batman as a figure concocted to personify the influence of uh, vengeful justice in our law or something like that or you know just because they have a much more detached way of seeing us and they see differences that from themselves that uh, are much more important than the things that we see in ourselves so for people back in the day, maybe being nomadic or being agricultural wasn't a difference at all. Maybe they just didn't think about it too much. It just a, was a thing. Just like we don't think about the difference between being a fan of hard rock and a fan of bland rock or something like that. It's just, it doesn't really matter. We're just people. Um, but, you know, different cultures have different attitudes. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that there's not a big difference. Objectively, there is. I'm just What I'm saying is that being in, being in a society um, blinds us to those differences. Uh, and that's why sociologists can see differences in our own societies that uh, that the vast majority of people cannot see because they're just immersed in this in these societies. And, and those differences, even though they are not seen by the vast majority of people, can also be seen in fictional the uh, characters that we make. Uh, it's just, he makes it very clear cut and it's absolutely not. It's super difficult. Either way, the point is, he's an archaeologist, he's old, and uh, Cain is a badass, or was a badass, the first vampire. Can you tell me more about Thin Bloods? Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Caller, you're whiling away the evening with the Deb of Night. Good evening, Deb. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. <laughs> Do you ever worry, Deb, that the world is going to end? I haven't felt that way since Brad Pitt got married. I bet you say that to all the girls. There is a red star in the night sky. The blood of mortals and the blood of 
Okay, well, good luck in the next election, Senator. Apologies to all you night owls out there, but this girl's got something she's got to take care of for the next few minutes. Here's a little music to keep you up, if you get my meaning.